Have you scoured the internet looking for instructions on how to install your new TRD front sway bar for your Toyota Tundra? Can you not find anything? Well, of course you answered yes to the both of those questions because that's why you clicked this video. Instructions are coming up. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. If this is your first time to the channel, you might not know that one of my daily drivers is a 2017 Toyota Tundra with an eight foot bed. It's a double cab, so it's a pretty hefty truck. Let me give you, let me give you a look, see. Here it is, in white. Nope, it's, it's a basic work truck. It is a lot to handle though on the road being so long, but I'll tell you what makes this truck not so much of a chore to steer around corners is this right here. I we've installed the TRD rear anti roll bar. And quite frankly, it keeps the truck flat as big as it is around corners and all. And on the highway, it really, it corners kind of flat. Uh, we have a, uh, a six foot six bed, double cab. I gotta tell you, although turning radius is much better on that vehicle, this truck does handle flatter than that truck. So, if you're trying to get a little bit more performance and better handling out of your vehicle, you're gonna wanna put that rear sway bar on. But, let's just say you wanted to step it up another notch. What do you do next? Well, you order this part, like I did from Sparks Parts. It's the TRD front sway bar. Came pack is really nice. But the reason we purchased this TRD sway bar is because of the recommendation of Tundra Dude 34. Go on over, check out his channel. Really great dude. Big fan of his channel because we're a big fan of Toyota, Toyota Tundra. And he also, when dealing with Sparks Parts, if you put in his product code, you get a discount. How awesome is that? But Mark actually ordered the same exact sway bar. And when it came to him, it wasn't boxed up. He had a little bit of damage on his sway bar, and I know he did some complaining to Sparks about it, and it looks like they stepped up their game and, and started boxing the part up. So good on Mark for looking out for his community and getting them to change the way it's being shipped. I will say this, the way it was being shipped was not the fault of, of Sparks parts. It was the fault of Toyota. Toyota was shipping these just this way without any box to the parts dealer, Sparks, and then Sparks was shipping them out from there. But it looks like Sparks is going the extra mile and boxing these items up before they send them out to the end consumer. And you know, that's good, it's good for Mark, it's good for, for Sparks, it's good for everybody. So cool. Let's get this thing installed in the truck. Shouldn't take too long. What I'll do is I'll give you guys a general, you know, idea of what has to happen and torque specs. Maybe it'll help you with your install. First thing we did was we jacked up the vehicle. Then we put it on nice and big six ton jack stands because you don't never want to depend on just a jack to hold your truck up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our Milwaukee half inch impact gun. We're going to take off these front wheels putting those wheels back on. If you have steel wheels, you're going to want to tighten those lug nuts to 154 pound feet for steel wheels. If it's aluminum alloy wheels, you're going to want to tighten them to, Mike, how much? 97. 97 pound feet for aluminum wheels. FYI. Next thing you're going to want to do is take off your skid plate. It's already off the vehicle, but there will be one, two, three screws that need to come out and then one two three four five bolts that need to come out then you'll be able to lower the back part of the skid plate slide it to the it goes slid to the what to the left to the towards the driver's side mike yes to the left. goes to the driver's side and then slides yeah. out okay Next thing you're going to want to do is bag out this link bolt right here. Okay, we're going to back that out. Inside here, lift it up, spin it out, and then you can kind of lower it down to rest it. And then the next thing we need to do is 
back out the bolts here that hold the bar in place. I'll show you that in a second, okay? There we go. Those bolts there, and we're gonna lower this whole bar down. Right, so these bolts here, you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket. Now to mount the sway bar to the frame, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket, okay? Once all four of these bolts are out, all you're gonna do is just lower lower the bar down and then pull it pull it out. You'll see. Well, all you're gonna do is lift it up, lower it out. And then pull it out, boom. There's the old unit, there's the new unit. It's gonna go in in a second. Get these mounting brackets off. All you're gonna do is push down on the bracket, pull that off, and then the rubber boot comes off. That's it. You're gonna take this and you're gonna transfer it right onto the new unit. Okay. So the splits were towards the front. So we want to, I wanna just put it on the same way it came off. So I'll put the rubber boot on. bracket on. There we go. Same thing with this side. Split towards the front. Put the bracket back on. So we're ready to mount the bar. First thing we got to do is we want to take these end links off, put it on the bar first, and then we'll put the bar in place. We're going to need a 19 millimeter impact socket okay now that we we broke this bolt we're gonna need an allen key to stick in the middle to hold this from spinning and then we're gonna just use an open-end wrench to back this off this is what that's gonna look like you're gonna put your allen key into the center of that bolt and then you're just gonna back it off. Let me see if I can show you. So, got it. If you're lucky enough to have a ratcheting <laughs> closed in, what you'll do is you'll put that on the bolt first, and then you'll put your Allen key in the middle. gonna get it and go right to the new one I made a little mistake make sure your TRD bar is sitting in the right position so if it's in the right position you're gonna you're gonna want to make sure your bracket goes on and it's facing towards the front and you'll see on the bracket it's gonna have an arrow that says front okay so at that point you're gonna want to make sure your rubber block, your rubber, your rubber bushing, the splits face towards the front, and then your bracket goes on in this manner, so it's facing towards the front. Beautiful. Good thing my brother's here, he caught that. I'm gonna put the, uh, the ends on in the same way they came off. I'm gonna transfer this over to the new, new bar. Reverse the process, and then we're gonna tighten these bolts. Put a little lube, and then we're gonna to torque these bolts down to, what, what was it? Exactly 111 pound feet. So we'll get these all torqued up. I'll get back with you in a second here. Take them on this side. We'll put our allen key here in the middle. Okay, and then we'll put our box and wrench on. Okay, and then we'll get our we'll final put our final torque measurement on there. 
hundred and eleven pound feet. Hold on, there we go. You hear the click. Boom. Put the bar Boom. back in and reverse process. Should only take a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, try to do this when it's not snowing. Unless you're inside, then that's okay. You could do it while it's snowing. Two front bolts in. Where are they at? That are gonna hold the roll bar to the, to the chassis. We put those in and we're able to slide the bracket in. I'll show you A little you bit that. of a juggling routine, but unless you're an auto mechanic does this every day, you're gonna wanna have an extra set of hands to help you. You will have the front bolts already in place. You can slide the bar up in place. You have to also, at the same time, get your end links in place into your lower con control arm, okay? Once you have them in place in your lower control arm, you can just get the rear bracket bolt started on both. And then at that point, you're gonna want to put your lower control arm links, the bolts in, make sure that's in position, and then tighten down your four mounting bolts. So I'm gonna do that now, get back with you in a second. Once your, your bolts are in place, before you tighten them down, you're gonna to wanna to start to, to run down your 17 millimeter bolts that hold the bar to the frame. You're gonna to wanna to run them down by hand because you do not want to cross thread them. So you're gonna use a socket, start tightening them down. We'll get them run down, and then we'll put the, the correct amount of torque on them in a second. That mount the bar to the frame, got torqued to 51 pound feet. And then we have to tighten our end link bolts to 89 pound feet. You'll need a 17 millimeter socket for these bolts, just so you know. 19 millimeter for the end link. Okay, throw your torque wrench on here. You're gonna torque until you hear the click and you're looking for 89 pound feet. Done, repeat the process on the other side. FYI, all torque specs and tech info were pulled directly from Toyota. What was it, Toyota what? Tech info. Toyota tech info. Dot com? Dot com. Pretty much that's it. All you gotta do is put your skid plate back on. This baby's installed, you throw your wheels on, you're ready to go. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but fairly simple. Go throw the tires back on, throw the lug nuts on. 154 pound feet for steel wheels, we're good to go. If you haven't way. seen the video where I changed a tire on my Toyota Tundra, I will link it here instead of boring you now. So pretty much all done. I'm gonna throw the original equipment uh, bar in the back of the truck, take it back to my shop. Just a quick little um, observation. This original equipment bar is much lighter than the TRD replacement. I believe these are hollow and you're gonna get the extra rigidity from the TRD unit being heavier because it is solid. That's my understanding. But that's about it for today. Hope this video helped you install your bar or inspired you to maybe go out and buy a TRD uh, front sway bar for your Toyota Tundra. Uh, go on over to Sparks Parks. Make sure you check out Tundra Dude 34's channel for the coupon code that he uses. You get a discount over there. But the, he's a great channel. They're a great guy. He's a great guy over there. Go check him out. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you like our content, get subscribed. If you know somebody that has a Toyota Tundra, share this video with them. Stay tuned as well. Smash that, that bell notification because we're going to be giving you uh, some real-world first drive impressions with this new Sway Bar coming up soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video? If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, guys.